welcome to some Imperial Guard conscripts. Granted, they look like they've seen a ghost and spent way too much time with a makeup artist, but they are conscripts nonetheless. And also welcome to 5 million Hormagorns. Now, a conscript's lot in life is often dismal, thrown against overwhelming odds with poor equipment. They often serve as no better purpose than the Emperor's divine meat shield. As shown here, in small numbers, they pose almost no threat to even the most basic of the Emperor's enemies. The Tyranids easily able to outflank the poor conscripts, chewing them up like it's a relaxing Sunday picnic. So today, we're gonna improve the lives of these conscripts by giving them custode levels of firepower. We're gonna do this here in the character customization tool. The first thing that I want to do for these poor guardsmen is just slightly increase their damage from 20 to let's say about a thousand. That means every single bullet they fire should actually kill something. So before the Tyranid armor was proving to be a little bit of a problem for our guardsmen. Hopefully now with their increased damage, they should be able to at least kill a lot more of the Tyranids before they advance upon them. But is it going to be enough to stop the Horde from completely devouring them? At the moment, things seem to be going well for our guardsmen, but then deflections from the Tyranids are actually causing a, still a little bit of a problem here. The bullets deflecting right back into our poor Imperial Guardsmen. The Tyranids here still easily able to outflank them, but they are putting up a much better fight than they did previously. If we look at the kill counter here, in the previous engagement, they got about 500 kills. Now, we're at about 15,000 but we've still got a way to go to get through 5 million. Okay, so the problem that we had was that the deflection value of the Tyranids was actually killing our Guardsmen. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and 10x their health. Now, that means they should be able to take at least two of their own deflected bullets. Let's see if that's enough to actually turn the tide just a little bit. Can we get past 15,000? Well, the Tyranids are charging once more. Now let's see, will our Godsman actually be able to survive? Hopefully the deflection won't be so bad for them. Maybe we'll have to increase their health pool again. The Tyranids are swarming in and I can already see that blood is starting to trickle here from the Imperial Guardsman line. But we have not taken losses yet. We can see that they are injuring themselves but they're definitely not outright killing themselves. But it does seem that regardless of that, the Tyranid Swarm are still encroaching upon our poor old conscripts. Definitely feels like the health value has helped them out quite a lot here. They're able to withstand at least a little bit of a beating now. The Tyranids simply throwing themselves against the defensive formation. And we're actually starting to make a little bit of a body pile. The conscripts, ladies and gentlemen, they're finally starting to hold. But even with this increased health, the Tyranids are slowly wrapping their spiky tendrils around our conscripts. A massive body pile of Tyranids is definitely starting to grow here. But the conscripts have still not faltered, still holding their own. So you can see that we've actually beaten the 15,000 kill count here. So what we're going to do, quickly time lapse this and see what our final kill counter is. Well, it is the last stand here of our little conscripts, and it does appear that we have definitely beaten our 15,000 marker here, topping out almost at 60,000 kills with a rather lovely body pile either side here. But ultimately, unfortunately, the Tyranids have still won here. We're going to call that 60,000 just because it was a nice round number. We're only a couple of hundred shy there. But clearly, this is still not enough to defeat the Tyranid Horde. We're going to have to give them even more firepower here. Okay, so we gave them more damage. We've given them more health. It's now time to increase their attack speed. And you know what? Let's go from one to 100. I think that might have a bit of an insane impact. Let's go ahead and see what this does. I've got a feeling, ladies and gentlemen, that our Tyranid Swarm here is about to experience a little bit of pain for the first time. Our conscripts are ready. Our Homer gods are ready. Let the slaughter commence. Well, you can already tell the difference in firepower here. Millions of bullets are now being flung down range at the Homer gods. The Tyranids here really struggling to push past the center as the weight of firepower has leveled upon them. But even with the insane losses on the front lines. The Tyranids here are trying to outflank and outmaneuver the Imperial Guardsmen. But the Guardsmen with their new powers are undeterred, holding the line against the insane swarm that is encroaching upon their position. With the Conscripts now reaching 250,000 kills, only time will tell if this is going to be enough firepower. So what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly time-lapse this and see if the Tyranids actually manage to get close here.
Well, in a crazy turn of events, it looks like the real winners here today was the Tyranid's armor. The sheer deflection value overwhelming the Imperial God defense at the very end. Basically, the Imperial God shot themselves to death here. So we're going to have to do something about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to give our Imperial Guardsmen here 99% range armor. And we're also going to give them a range block chance of 99%. Hopefully this should stop them from being killed by their own bullets. Let's go run that test again. Well, here we go. We got to about a million kills at the last one. Will the deflection chance here and the block value actually help them out? Let's run the time lapse and see if they can survive the onslaught. Well, it does appear that even giving them a range deflection here and range armor has not helped them out too much. We have only just managed to creep past 1 million, but ultimately there, the deflection value for the Tyranids has proven too much for our Imperial conscripts. So we're going to have to mix things up a bit. So up until this point, our conscripts have been using this auto gun here, which is actually a last gun, but we don't have lasers in this game. So what we are going to do is we're actually going to change the ammunition type, and we're going to give them basically bolter rounds so here we are the conscripts that have now got bolter rounds firing them a hundred times faster than a normal auto gun with a thousand times more damage and ten times more hp are we finally at the custodes level Well, so far it does appear that giving them tank and bolt rounds really has worked out quite well for them. We don't appear to be deflected at that many rounds anymore. Instead, we're simply destroying the Tyranids outright. But of course, we are going to have to hit a time-lapse camera and see if the Tyranids do actually manage to push in here. Oh my, we'll be back in a second. Well, 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 look at this as we come down to the last 37,000 Tyranids here. Here's that we finally may have given the Imperial Guard a fighting chance. I mean, look at these body piles. We've turned 5 million Tyranids here into a gigantic fortification wall that now completely surrounds the Imperial Guardsmen. And it is gigantic in every sense of the way. Look at this. The poor Imperial Guardsmen here can no longer even see the Tyranid Swarm. It is just a gigantic wall of death as the last 18,000 of them fling themselves at the Imperial Guard. Look at this. Again, a gigantic blood lake on the other side, full of razor-sharp dead Tyranids also. Oh my gosh, look at that battlefield out there. Well, there you go. So, if you want your Imperial Guard conscripts out there to be actually powerful and useful, it turns out all you need to do is give them 10 times the normal health, 100 times the normal damage, and maybe some uh, bolt guns. <laughs> oh, I do think, though, ladies and gentlemen, like all good things, this one must come to an end. And we need to cleanse this battlefield. And as always, 
I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all our channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out the amazing chaotic pinky store. We got some really cool merch over there. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.